Good morning, guys. Another day, another dusting of snow. So as you recall from my previous video, the Kia Sorento had a bad alternator and we had to go clear to Campobello to retrieve it and bring it back. In which we made it back on one single charge of a battery. We had three batteries to go down there with and bring it back. So it's fixed. We're about ready to take it back. So Junior is coming with me one more time. And I just got a phone call from another customer, the customer who owns this Santa Fe. This Santa Fe came in because it had a bad sensor and while we were changing the sensor we accidentally broke a piece of plastic hose which holds coolant so we're waiting for a part for that and uh, we loaned the customer the 2008 Hyundai Elantra. So we just got a phone call and he says that the 2008 Hyundai Elantra is on the side of the road broken down. Go figure. Which is in Lubeck and Lubeck is just outside of Campobello. So, he did say that it broke a belt. So we've got a couple of belts, we've got a tensioner pulley, and we've got some tools, and we are headed back down to drop off the Sorento, and then back over to fix up the Hyundai Elantra. So let's go to Camp Bella one more time. So there's our car. So we're just gonna go across and see if it actually starts and then we can get it off the side of the road and over into this empty parking lot that we're at. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, mint. Well, there's your problem right there. And lucky for us, it broke the alternator belt because there's an adjustment right down here to adjust the alternator. Uh, in and out and that's your tension so it should be a fairly simple job to change out famous last words so we got the new belt on after a few busted knuckles and some uh, choice words but of course I don't swear so we're just going to tighten up this uh, manual tensioner which is great I just tested it to make sure that the belt doesn't squeak and there's uh, it's pretty tight so we're going to tighten things up and uh, we'll be good to take the Kia Sorento back and those folks will be happy to get their uh, get their vehicle back these folks will be happy to get their loaner granted their truck their Santa Fe will be fixed tomorrow when the part comes in and then they can come get it so hopefully no more trips to Campobello. Not that I don't like it down here. I can feel my body, you're cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me, in bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. So guys, it is the next day and we have made it back to the shop. It's early in the morning and We've got daylight. I heard the other day that since the official start of winter, which was December the 20th or 21st, we've gained an hour of daylight. So spring really is just around the corner, despite what everybody says. Now, the colder temperatures seem to have gone right now. It is 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, I can't believe it. Anyways, we made it back from Campobello and we got both vehicles all situated. We, de we delivered the Kia Sorento and we got the little Hyundai Elantra uh, fixed up with a new belt and that customer on their way. So we were able to kill two birds with one stone and we hope that the bad things that happen in threes have all happened. So we've got that out of the way with the broken part on the customer's Hyundai Santa Fe for which in turn we loaned them a vehicle to get back to Campobello and well, that one broke down, number two. And then we had the Kia Sorento, which we sold last Wednesday, 
and the alternator goes bad. What are the coincidences of the two vehicles or the two situations both being on Campobello Island? Anyways, I'm glad that that's all looked after. I'm glad the customers are happy and satisfied and uh, very appreciative of the extra effort. So that's how we do things here at Old Car Auto. We don't mind taking the extra time and effort to make sure that our customers are satisfied right till the end. As you can see guys, the 2010 Dodge Avenger is on the lot as well. Of course, we already saw the uh, 2010 Pontiac G5 with 75,000 kilometers. The 2012 Hyundai Santa Fe is out here as well. And I don't think I mentioned anything about this vehicle. This is one we picked up last week at Odessa in Moncton, and this is a beauty. This is a 2013 Honda CRV. It's an EX model with the sunroof, the wheels, the backup camera, heated seats, all the goodies in just 84,000 kilometers. And it is super, super clean. So a couple of little things before we close out this video that I wanted to mention to you guys is there is a fellow YouTuber who is hashtag small engine nation and his name is Doug Sweener. I'm going to put his information right here as well as a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. Doug is an older gentleman who uh, dabbles in small engines and has a little YouTube channel there and uh, Doug has a few health issues and I want to encourage you guys no matter what your belief system is that you send him some good vibes or some prayers his way in hopes for a speedy recovery and uh, that he's able to get back to making his videos and having fun on YouTube. Doug, get well soon, we're thinking of you. Also, t-shirts and hoodies are still on sale and you can get yours at the first link in the description box below, bonfire.com. And uh, there's a couple of different styles there for you guys to choose from. I hope you take advantage of that and help support my channel. Today, is live stream day. Therefore, the, this week's live stream will be hosted on my channel. So, I will leave a link in the description box below so that you guys can go down, follow that link, and set the little reminder that it allows you to do so that you don't forget that the live stream starts at nine o'clock my time, which is Atlantic, eight o'clock Eastern, and seven o'clock Central. And if you keep going West, just keep taking an hour off that. So guys, I hope that you are able to join us for the subscriber hangout and talk about cars and get a little bit of update on mine and Street Six Fans page because Street Six Fan Grant uh, is uh, my co-host uh, for that show and we're hoping to uh, both reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. So I hope you guys can make that. My license plate challenge is still out there. If you guys have extra license plates from your state or neighboring states or from wherever, I am working on a project for my man cave, my garage at home, and I'm hoping that you guys are able to uh, send me some of the spare stuff that you have. If you're in Canada, my address is down below, my Canadian address for right here. And uh, if you're in the US, I've got a US address to save you on postage, uh, which is also in the description box below. And I hope that you guys can send me a little bit of uh, something extra and I'll be sure to give you a shout out when I receive it and make sure that your name goes on that plate so that I remember exactly where it came from. So guys, this will conclude this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. I encourage you to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.